Okay, so the mainstream media, they're at it again. Uh, they've come up with a story about Trump and they're just milking it for all it's worth. And um, just looking at the sensationalist headlines, you'd think that something major has happened. It's like Facebook removes Trump campaign ads with Nazi symbol. And then uh, another one, they've got, um, that's from Al Jazeera, which are usually quite uh, quite good. Uh, Washington Post, Facebook removes Trump ads with symbol once used by Nazis to designate political prisoners. Well, that's, that's getting you a little bit closer to the truth, actually. But um, it, it, wasn't, it wasn't ads. From what I can see, it was just, it was just one, one ad of a, series of a series of ads that actually had the same message. You can see here, Team Trump uh, says, Dangerous mobs of far-left groups, blah, blah, blah. Same thing on this one. Dangerous mobs of far-left groups, etc. And um, you see a pattern here. They look like they're, they're using using just symbols of uh, road signs like slow down and the actual inverted triangle is actually a symbol for uh it's an international symbol for give way um is <laughs> i can tell you i, I when i saw that symbol I, I thought i thought of the uh ejection seat so let's have a look at some of the symbols that uh the inverted red triangle represents so i'll get into my uh browser here another one and We'll have a look. So, as I said, it, it's it's usually usually represents a give way sign or a yield sign. Um, that's that's the that's the most most common one. Now, it does it. So this is where they got it from. It says badges worn in Nazi concentration camps. So it's this this one on the far 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 left. <laughs> Ah, oh, jeez. <laughs> I didn't even realise I was going to say that. The far left. The top far left is uh, apparently that's uh, the symbol for um, socialists. And I was looking at uh, another website here. So, so it's definitely legit what, what I was saying. But oh, I've never I've never heard of it. Um, I, I, did, I did know about the Yellow Star of David. And that was for the Jewish prisoners. But... Um, I dug a bit further, and the red inverted triangle was the badge that political prisoners in Nazi concentration camps had to wear. The Nazis chose red because the first people to have to wear it were communists. Uh, besides communists, liberals, anarchists, social democrats, Freemasons, and and other opposition party members also wore a red triangle. Many red triangle wearers were interned at the Dachau uh, concentration camp. So it's got it's got some legitimacy there. But um, from what I from what I was seeing with the with the Trump campaign, uh, I'd say it was it was more like a yield sign, a giveaway sign. I, you know, everyone says how dumb Trump is. <laughs> he probably wasn't even aware of of the connotations. Also, it's got a um, a black border around the outside of it in the original one. So I'm not too sure what's going on there. Um, what else did I find here? And then, ironically, uh, this guy. Jevas, uh, Jevas, in Spain. Uh, he does sort of looks like a left left wing type uh, T-shirt. So this one here, I think. Therefore, I'm anti-fascist, and that's got an inverted red triangle. It's got another one with Antifa on it. So <laughs> maybe, maybe Antifa uh, took the took it to mean um, that uh, they were included because. As you can see here, the the liberals and the anarchists. Uh, so maybe the Antifa, because they're anarchists, wanted to uh, use the red triangle as well. So there you go. You can't have it both ways, can you? And um, you can see here, they bring up um, this guy on Twitter brought up the Antifa use it as well. And he says it's not in the anti-defamatory lead hate symbols database anyway. So I don't know. <laughs> It's just getting all ridiculous. But the one that I one that I actually uh, thought of as soon as I saw it was because I've got um, a military background. I was in the Air Force cadets. Um, it was the ejection symbol. You can see, see it on the planes, the ejection seat symbol. And it's usually a warning of an eject, ejection seat. So that's the first first thing I thought of. I did not think of, of you know, symbols uh, used you know, patches of, you know, badges of Nazi Germany. That's prisoners. I did not think of that at all. And uh, so somebody has got a, uh, either they 
goes through every single thing Trump does and looks for the uh, bad stuff about it or I don't know what's going on. It's just getting ridiculous, isn't it? So it's just got so many meanings. Uh, ejection seat is the first one I thought of. And then, and uh, luckily someone's got a sense of humour because, uh, well actually, before we get to that, uh, red triangle symbol concerning transportation. Red triangle means dangerous, which alerts vehicles on the highway to the position that had already an accident and alert people to slow down and drive carefully. So it's like, um, I think we put like black, uh, black symbols uh, for uh, like little uh, black, what do you call it, black markers with a little white cross on them to indicate that there's been an accident there already. So looks like in Europe, I've never seen it. Never seen it here. Apparently in Europe and so forth, they'll they'll use that as a uh, a cautionary. Uh, you know, it's been an excellent hot spot, so slow down. But um, and and funnily enough, uh, the red triangle is also used in family planning. Uh, red triangle indicates family planning products and services. And this is on Wikipedia. You can look up uh, red triangle. An inverted red triangle is a symbol for family planning, health, and contraceptive services. Much as a red cross is a symbol for medical services, it is especially prevalent in many developing nations such as India, Ghana, Gambia, Zimbabwe, Egypt, and Thailand, where it can be seen outside shops and clinics that offer family planning products. And as in, and as in commercial and government messages that promote reproductive health services and population control, well, there we go. There'll be another conspiracy theory that uh, Trump's into population control now. He's, he's in cahoots with Bill Gates. Um, it's frequently placed on contraceptive products such as condoms, diaphragms, spermicidal gel and IUDs. Uh, uh, here we go. So, Naroda condoms in India and Sultan condoms in Gambia. They've, they've got that symbol on there as well. But the funniest one I saw was, someone's got a sense of humour in Canada. Because <laughs> Canadian Tire, that's, that's their symbol as well. Oh dear. So they're saying Canadian Tire logo under fire after Trump caught using Nazi symbol in ad. It's just getting ridiculous, guys. I'm telling you, it's, and it's only going to get worse heading towards the election. <laughs> oh, yeah, so he's, he's put a Canadian Tire symbol. And actually, that actually is more like the actual symbol because... Uh, it's got a little bit of a black border around it. So, um, I've been trying to look for the one with the black border around it. I can't see it anywhere. Um, the original Nazi one didn't have a black border. Oh, did it? They're showing, showing patches there. That's interesting. They're actually showing a patch there. Uh, okay, let's click on that see what comes up. No, it's not really a black border. I thought it was a black border. It was just a shadow. So that's what they're saying there. Um, it's just, it is, it's crazy. But my my best guess is, given the original ad, it's actually a giveaway sign. It's got nothing to do with Nazis, got nothing to do with uh, socialists and so forth. But because uh, if you look at the original original post, and I'll grab the original one on the Safari here, and if you look at them all. They are following a theme of traffic signs, the slow down sign, and you've got the giveaway or yield sign, and this one's like a cautionary sign there as well, on the far right. On the far right. <laughs> you have the left, slow, the middle, dangerous, dangerous yield, and on the right, which, they're just making up, just making up signs. It's, you know, it's just saying, you know, stop. Destroying our cities. Now, destroying our cities and riding is absolute madness, and he's saying stop. That's basically what he's saying. Uh, I, I give up, seriously. It's just, it's getting silly, isn't it? It's getting very, very silly, this whole thing. And um, <laughs> it's, I, it's, I guess, it's, in some respects, I sort of enjoy it. It's just, you know, what's going to come up next? It's just interesting, but it, it does get a bit silly how they minutely. Minutely, here we go. See, it says here, stop it, stop it, Antifa, respond now on the bottom here. 
this might say in respond now, stop and teeter, respond now. So it's just that theme is using traffic signs. That's my take on it, and it'll be interesting to see how many how many media organisations actually pick that up because it's pretty obvious to me, and it should be pretty obvious to everyone that uh, there's a theme of traffic signs there. And uh, of course, they had to uh, try and find an alternative the alternative uh, message in there. And uh, the media is just so left biased; it's unbelievable. Like. I did I did a video I did a video the other day um and it got it got uh, limited ads on it because I mentioned Antifa this one, this one will get limited ads too once once they go through it, you know mention Nazis or <laughs> mention Antifa it's going to it's going to get limited ads but um I actually got the uh the monthly newsletter the creator the creator monthly June creator newsletter here here we go, and it's just so, so biased. <laughs> this it's just like a a left ad campaign. This is YouTube. This is YouTube. They send you the uh, create a monthly newsletter here, and they're talking about while Pride Month usually calls for celebration, the mood is different this year as people take to the streets to protest racial injustice in this struggle. We are once again reminded of the importance of lifting creative voices to build community and understanding and we continue to celebrate the unique identities of all our creators. Well, they're not celebrating unique identities of all our creators. They're actually, they're actually trying to funnel us into one way of thinking, aren't they, really? Uh, they've got a whole thing with Black Lives Matter. Apparently they're putting $100 million, as YouTube is spending, $100 million on helping black only black creators they're only going to help black creators uh, have more of a voice on youtube so we've got uh, racial bias but on <laughs> in reverse it's going to be it's going to be the uh, the non-black people that will be uh, disadvantaged here uh, so it goes to our youtube black Hashtag YouTube Black Creator Community. We stand in solidarity with you and are committed to doing the work in the fight for racial justice. We know there is so much more to be done. Uh, I don't know if they're aware, but you know, Marquis, Marquis Brown. I've, I watch him all the time. He's a black creator. Um, you've got uh, I can't remember the guy's name now. He's with um, oh, he had a fight. He had the boxing match. Link link below. I mean. Comment below, you. everyone knows what his name is, it's K, K, KSI, that's it, KSI, another great black uh, YouTuber, I don't think they need any help actually, YouTube, I think they're doing quite well on their own, uh, but they're going to spend a hundred million dollars on it anyway, uh, <laughs> it's just crazy isn't it, uh, check out the latest info on what YouTube is doing and some thoughts and conversation from our creative community on our YouTube Spotlight channel. Uh, another thing on Pride in 1969, black trans woman Marshall P. Johnson, Miss Major Griffin Gracie and others led the Stonewall Uprising, paving the way for the modern LGBTQ plus rights movement. You, you'd think this was a far left uh, ad campaign, but this is, this is actually the YouTube newsletter, creating newsletter. And when I, when I saw it, I put it on my Facebook and the comments were, oh yeah, I... I noticed that too. It's really weird, isn't it? Uh, so here we go. So they're talking about the LGBTQ plus. So it's not QI anymore. It's Q plus rights movement to carry. I don't know when they changed it to carry the spirit of these pioneers. We've curated two playlists: one that shines a light on Pride's history, and another that unites and amplifies the intersectional voices within our YouTube community. Okay, so then we've just so it's got all these sort of pride colours as well, sort of rainbow colours. Um, and it's, then it starts getting a little bit less political. It says manage your channel with new Creator Academy toolkits. That's fair enough. Get extra support from viewers and advertisers. I think they should have just cut it there. They should have just had this bit because I don't think YouTube should be a political platform, as in the actual people that run YouTube should be pretty much neutral. 
Uh, get extra support for viewers and advertisers. Simple measures to secure your account. And there's Susan. And it's talking about things there. Blah, blah, blah. Stay inspired, Team YouTube. <laughs> Was this email helpful? I'll put, I'll put a sad sign later on. But yeah, that's... I think I've pretty much covered everything now. It's just... It's just pretty full on, isn't it? How everything is just geared towards towards the left now. And it's really it's really just gone too far, I think. Uh, you know, you have people like James Woods who's got an IQ of hundred and sixty apparently and he got banned off Twitter. Uh, I read a story that James Woods uh, actually could have stopped nine eleven. Look into that. I might do another video on that, but uh, I need to look into it myself. Apparently, he warned he warned about him about um, some passengers. I think, yeah. So, uh, very interesting. I'll, I'll, I won't say anything about it because I haven't researched it and I don't want to spread misinformation. But uh, so there we go, guys. I hope you enjoyed that one. A um, little bit heavy, a little bit light-hearted through some light-hearted Canadian tire company. I can't get over that one. They've <laughs> got the inverted triangle. Are they going to be shut down? There was another. There was another good one too. Uh, let's see if I can find it. Uh, let's get back into here. I'll just. I'll just quickly show you this because it's quite interesting. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna give it away. Uh, is it this one? I reckon it could be. Is it this one? I was on one of these. I'll just quickly flick through it. Sorry, guys. Um, uh, no. I'll, add, I'll basically, if I can't find it in five seconds, I'm going to tell you. Okay. Basically, what it was, was... Uh, let's just quickly have a look. Brave browser. It was. It was, it was, it was. I'm probably not going to find it quick, am I? Uh, actually, it could have been on this one. No, no, it's not that one either. He pointed out, I think it could be... Oh, here we go. This is it. <laughs> the US stock market. Circled. US stock market there. Uh, they use they use the inverted triangle for stocks going down. So, is it going to be next one on this? Is this, is this Nazi symbolism? Are they using... Is the Dow Jones index using Nazi symbolism? Because that's how crazy it is. Because symbols are everywhere, you know? And symbols have different meanings, like like the Texas horns, you know, Texas horns, or you have the have the like the, you know the rock on, and you got the you've got like the satanic you know, horn symbol as well. So you know that's got three meanings: it's either rock on, Texas horns, or or devil worshipping. So satanic devil worshipping. So you know that's just one example. Also the uh, the uh, what do you call it? The uh, uh, peace symbol is basically an inverted broken cross, so that's got another meaning as well. And also the the uh, rainbow symbol is meant to be a uh, a symbol of God saying that He's never going to destroy the earth with a flood again. And that's why you know sun came out. You see the rainbow. It's like a sign that God promises never to destroy the earth with a flood. And uh, the LGBTQ plus not QI, Q plus uh, movement has taken over the rainbow symbol as well. So there we go. Enough of that. Symbols are very interesting. I got into symbols quite a bit when I was <laughs> reading Dan Brown, like everyone else, the Da Vinci Code, and he was talking about symbols, and I sort of got into it a little bit there. Um, symbols are very interesting, but I think in this case, they've gone a little bit overboard. It's not a Nazi symbol. You can see from his... Uh, symbols he was using it's just basically another road sign now that's my take on it so tell me what you think below and don't forget to like share and subscribe and i'll see you next time cheers guys